Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. There's so almost got selections here for Thursday, July 20th. For again, today's play of the day. Quick recap what happened yesterday. We had a loss in baseball with the Guardians money line at minus 128 on Bet Online. Pretty brutal beat there. Guardians led 4-0 in the fifth inning. They led 4-2 in the seventh. And then Francona blew the entire game with his use of the bullpen. They brought in Henches, who I've never seen pitch well in my entire life. And he was once again awful in the game yesterday. Gave up a lot of base runners. And then to make matters worse, Francona let him pitch to Choi, even though Choi is better against lefties than righties. Choi had the go-ahead two-run single with two outs, and the Guardians lost the game 7-5. to five. So, Francona blew the game. Hengis was a mess, but the point is the Guardians' bullpen, which is top five in the league in terms of ERA, melted down, and the Guardians blew a massive lead. So, picked up a loss there. Look for a winner here on Thursday. And for today's play, today, going back to baseball, and look at a game between the, the Brewers and the Phillies taking place at around 12.30 p.m. Eastern time. And for this game, I'm going to take the first five under, Five runs at minus 135 on BetMGM. Time recording of 2.30 a.m. Eastern time. Covering why we're going to take the under in the first five in this game. First reason, both teams offensively not great early in games. The Brewers are only averaging 2.1 runs per road game in the first five, which is the fourth fewest in the league. Meanwhile, the Phillies are averaging 2.58 runs per home game in the first five, which ranks 18th. So both teams are below average offensively in the first five in this environment. And to go through the actual pitchers in this game, Two pretty good options. You have Cor uh, Corbin Burns pitching for Milwaukee. Last three starts, he's been really good. 19 innings pitched and a 1.89 ERA. We know how good Burns can be. He struggled earlier this year, but it does seem like he might have turned a corner recently. And as a result, I do think he's a bit undervalued in this spot. Meanwhile, you're looking at Philly's active numbers against him with the lineup. Philly's active batters have 44 career plate appearances against Burns, a 205 batting average, and a 295 on base percentage. However, those numbers are actually skewed because Trey Turner has a 571 batting average and a 571 on base percentage. So he's basically the only guy on the entire roster that actually hits Burns even decently. And when you take uh, Turner's numbers out of the equation, it tells you how bad the rest of the Phillies lineup has been against Burns in the past. Plus, to go through the actual Philly starter, you have Taiwan Walker pitching, who's quietly been really good for the last couple of months. Last seven starts, 44 innings pitched and a 1.84 ERA. He's also been really good at home this season. Walker at home this season, 43 innings pitched, a 2.3 ERA. And Milwaukee's faced him a decent amount of the time, less than the Phillies have faced Burns, but 27 plate appearances against Walker, a 208 batting average, and a 296 on base percentage. But with these pitchers being in very good form and with the offenses not exactly being great in the first five, I think this number is a bit high. At five, you get a push, obviously. But with Burns pitching really well, looking back potentially to his Cy Young form, and with Walker quietly being really good for the last couple of months, this number just seems high to me. I could see a very low-scoring game early on, potentially a 2-1 type game through five, but I do think this number in itself is too high, so I will go with the unders. Play that once again here for Thursday, July 20th. is going to be on the Brewers and Phillies' first five under. Five runs at minus 135 on BetMGM. Bye, everyone.